You know, if you step back on our, our memory focus, uh, we, we've been very focused on, uh, on uh, you know, increasing our speed, increasing our reliability in our, uh, in our technology, lowering the cost of our technology, uh, you know, lowering the power of, uh, of our technology. Our customers want enhanced security. Um, uh, um, uh, they want less packages, more, more connectivity. Uh, and this, uh, this acquisition really allows us to, uh, to unite all those. Uh, and really what our customers are looking for across every one of our, our, um, our, the industries that we support, they're looking for a more integrated approach uh, or SOC approach. And th this will allow us uh, to, to, to really focus on that uh, over the next five, five to ten years and, and, and grow much quicker. Uh, I think the second thing for everybody needs to understand is is what what we're what we're acquiring is really a broad portfolio. We're getting 8-bit technology, 16-bit technology. We're getting 32-bit technology, both proprietary and ARM ARM uh, uh, technology. We'll focus on the 32-bit uh, by adding more and more of our flash uh, over time. Uh, but in the short term, we're going to have a tremendous uh, you know revenue revenue stream and a, s a tremendous set of opportunities just. Uh, with that microcontroller technology. And the other thing not to be forgotten in this is a, a tremendous power management uh, set of technologies and, and customer set. Uh, power management is going to continue to grow everywhere, and this gives us a great opportunity to participate in that. If you think about the automo automobile industry, for instance, uh, we all know that uh, flash is growing inside the car. But, but a lot of that growth really is an embedded SOC growth. Uh, you know, the, it's doubling and tripling the, the densities that are in a microcontroller today. Uh, um, and so we'll be able to participate in that and utilize all of our strengths there and really differentiate our product offerings uh, there. I, I think the second thing to think about with, with automotive in particular for, you know, for folks at Spansion and, and for Jitsu, the, the new Spansion, is the number of microcontrollers in just about every application you can think of is going to continuously grow. And, and the car is going to go from maybe 22 up to well over 30 microcontrollers in a car. And that's great uh, opportunity for us to participate in.